Hi guys, Ren here and welcome to the workshop. Today's video is a bit sad because for me it marks an end of an era. A bit unexpectedly to be honest, but this is how it is. So many of you have been asking before when will I get a new road bike and I wasn't really planning on getting one because the Madonna I had was a bike that I really liked uh, because well for a multitude of reasons that that were also the reasons why I bought it so it's one of the fastest bikes around it's light it's stiff it's comfortable uh, and it also looks good which is important and also has a very aggressive fit in the last two and a half years I've ridden this bike for 35,000 kilometers which is a lot of time in the saddle in different conditions from hot to frigid cold from smooth roads to farm roads so in this time I've managed to get a very good feel of how the bike performs and what are the flaws what are the drawbacks I also serviced and rebuilt it multiple times in different configurations which I'm going to show you uh, in the form of a couple of pictures but you can also check it out in all the videos so uh, it was a test bed for using uh, multiple parts tons of wheel sets, uh, two group sets, power meters, etc. So really I bringed every bit of use or performance out of it. I've done many races on it uh, and it stood the test of time very well. The paint job is still beautiful. Uh, it hasn't faded one bit. There are a couple of nicks and scratches from transport mainly. Uh, but yeah, that's that's what you get. Bikes don't uh, stay like new forever. Uh, one weak part that I've found uh, to be over the over the times of riding it was or were the brakes. They're not as good as regular caliper brakes, uh, which yeah, it it has a center pole design on both uh, both ends and they don't work as well as for example those on the speed concept they're a bit finicky to adjust uh, and power wise it can be okay but yeah they're finicky to adjust for multiple wheels you can't really adjust them on the fly uh, in case of your pads wear down or you change your wheels image race or something like that so it's very important to have wheels of the same width uh, so and also the front brake has been replaced very recently because the little springs that pull the wedge back on its place uh, they got a bit tired and uh, didn't do their job properly but yeah now it works and yeah the brake action is fine I'm, I've been told that it's much better than on some other rim brake aero bikes so it's not not all bad but could be better that's definitely an area where it could be improved uh, many like to complain about the track bb90 bottom bracket i've never had an issue with it never had a creak i always uh kept good care of it the only problem i have with it is the compatibility which is quite limited as this is pretty much the only standard that won't accept a 30 mil axle or I think neither will it accept a dub standard axle when the new SRAM group sets come out so that's a bit of a shame mm, other than that no real issues with the bike uh, if you're an experienced mechanic you will have no problem keeping this up uh, and running if you're a newbie like I was when I bought it admittedly uh, then it can be a bit of a headache but manageable still the most complicated aspect is the handlebar and front end area because all the cables as you can see run internally uh, so that's uh, that's a bit complicated particularly this area around the head tube the steer tube everything goes in its place uh, with ETAP is the simplest possible option because you've only got the two brake cables and outers uh, going in there 
the worst possible setup is me all mechanical because then yeah you have to wriggle around four uh, out the cables and also line up this uh, preload adjuster when it's a mechanical system and uh, yeah it can take a lot of time if you haven't done it before I have also done um, my own build uh, in that configuration and also in DI2 uh, the manual is very thorough very easy to uh, understand so yeah even though it's a complicated bike it's not not a complete nightmare uh, the ISO speed also works very well until this date no plane there no creaks no wiggles mm, so overall the durability of the bike and the quality of it uh, I think that's top-notch still has the unlimited or sorry lifelong guarantee or whatever you may call it also the crash replacement so that's pretty nice one thing I did change was the front end I changed that to an MV system for my use which is longer and has more drop and also narrower bars this is basically the most aggressive setup you can buy off the shelf from track 120 mm stem 40 centimeter bars uh, what I miss about the bars in these ones is they don't really have much flare at all so when sprinting you can hit hit your uh, arms here that's not very comfortable and also this bar is quite a bit harsher than the MV setup that I've been using recently but still it's it's plenty stiff and precise so and looks looks absolutely great if I'm honest I still have to order uh, this little tab that attaches the Garmin mount because I gave that to someone who needed it in a hurry and I wasn't using this bar so I gave that away have to order it back and yeah this is pretty much the final uh, setup and it contains basically the parts of the customer that bought it so quark power meter just a different one with a compact BCD 5236 a standard double setup oversized pull wheel system I left it on there 1128 cassette 303 firecrest clinchers the older model I put back the triple X bottle cages for it and the Montrose Pro saddle and as you can see of course I've already mentioned that uh, the front end and it's uh, yeah it's not as sharp as it used to be when I was riding it but still a pretty damn good bike uh, weight wise I'll have to measure that I think it will come around at 7.2 7.3 kilos in this configuration with pedals uh, but yeah so far it's complete the last time I rode it actually outside was on December the 29th uh, and I really really didn't want to sell it or wasn't planning to because I had no good reason but I got an offer that I couldn't refuse so now uh, it's time to get something new what that will be I don't know yet but it will come soon so if you want to know more about that and how things unfold then don't forget to tune into the channel and subscribe it's all for the day thanks for watching and see you next time